Welcome to my Einbath video series and this time I'm doing a voiceover and I will probably do voiceovers for all my videos in the future. This is a special illustration for my rain set and you will in a minute see what's the main focus and what it will be like. Uh, this right now what you see is my exploration for the sigil that will be placed on the top. Of course very inspired by classic sigils and also I use this brush mainly for a typographic style uh, and combine the letters as it is typical with for, for sigils but I try to explore diverse directions um, not yeah not not only for talking about uh, yeah distances and how long I make the strokes how curved Uh, how thick and all these things yeah I mean there are so many things influencing your strokes and I also try like very free ones just as this one um, I'm calling uh, Gin Portal. This one here that you see now is inspired by Sanskrit letters mainly. And in the end I, I will not use any of these. <laughs> And here, for a, for a few seconds, you see how I put together the board, the inspiration sheet. And I also put in one of my artworks that is a reference, because it all belongs together. And yes. I, I had different things, different elements in mind. For example, because this knife is representing the pure consciousness and I wanted to have some light, like, li like lightnings, like lights or kind of energy flying out of, of certain spots on the card and break, break out of the, of, the, of the frame. But uh, I, in the end I decided to do it differently. And as you can see, the knife was already finished. I first... Yeah, this is the first time I, I really illustrate relatively uh, realistic, um, realistically this item, which is a key item in my stories at the moment. Now you see, I, I use a painterly brush to draw those lines for the for the whole framing. Put in some self-created texture for the filling, because I wanted the, the sigil to be bright, like glowing or standing out, so I put in a dark background. And also the two sigils you see now that I put in. These are from uh, two other artworks that are pretty graphical from the set and from the rain scene. And I just trace them. 
because the proportions are important on this. They belong together and it's a, a own style of, it's an own approach to sigils, which is for me a different consciousness I, I have in the moment when I create this kind of, of, of sigil. And now you see my approach on, this is, this is also one style of my sigils that I use for certain things. Uh, because the associate associations I have personally are with certain elements, certain archetypes. This is the kind of what I call angelic. It also is a bit inspired by classic angelic um, sigils, but yeah. So this is also perfectly fitting into the frame of course as you see I don't have much space for vertical stuff and I'm a huge fan of symmetrical designs so I could put this only if I if I decided to go vertical I could only place it uh, side to side with a knife and as as being the title and speaking from the hierarchy and what it feels like it would feel wrong so I decided to go with this approach and also please note that I I've cut the video sometimes there is a small part missing and since the th thematic of the rain scene is the sky partly the rain the, the sky and the glowing entity coming down, giving the protagonist this knife. I also wanted to have um, some sky elements, so I put in those uh, simplified clouds. Yeah, it's super simplified. I wanted to go simple and archaic, like it's supposed to be ancient and old and yeah ancient artists were not much of realists so and then also following my intuition a lot especially here of course i could just frame the whole thing along the edges of the card uh, but that's that would look very static and I felt like I need an element uh, that would connect the title the name the code with the outside and this is this is uh, the way I did it I put in those two actually it's four um, you got on the bottom you got also two diagonal uh, pieces that are going out uh, of the frame and you will see what I will do with these uh, in the next part. Oh, and if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. And you will see more like that, more gloomy dark art.